open the software installation package and double click setup then keep clicking next after the software is installed close it then its icon appears on the desktop double click the icon wait for the software to load and run click here to login enter the password hitbot after entering click new process enter the project name and choose the save location if there is no robot arm please click here to select the virtual robot select the mechanical model and do not close or exit this page robot is online indicating successful connection then click to initialize false means the robot arm failed to initialize true means successful on initialization the left buttons are module template and robot arm id this button is the point position the name of the point input box can be changed and added. The teaching point position can determine the current point position. The values of the X, Y, Z and R axes can be reset. This module can control the point joint angle of the robot. Click on ZEFG. A variety of ways can be selected to control the gripper of the robot. Zeroing can reset the joint of robot. Enter the ID and click these four buttons. To reset the robot, click on the switch. Check drug teaching and the window will appear. If uncheck it and the robot arm cannot be operated manually, the buttons are import and export of point. Double click right and choose position to create a point module. Double click it to enter the properties page. Click the C on the right of the position module. Set the server IP address and port number. Click on the signal at the bottom left, set the signal of the robot arm. The left side is the signal input setting. The right side is the signal output setting. Please click save after finishing the settings. After all is saved, the system can receive the information. Right click and select palette. The palette can select the points set earlier. The number of rows and columns is set according to the specific palette and the serial number of palette. Double click on the palette to display the properties. Set the corresponding parameters. Clicking on map will display the setting values. Right click EFG. Select here the type of gripper that has been attached to the robot. Right click client. The IP of the client can be connected here. Right click script. Editable robot arm functions. Right click sub process. Each process module can be added separately here. The sub process inherits all the functions of the main process. Right click on the serial port. Setting and connecting serial port related devices here. Right click reset. Multiple reset sub processes can be added. Right click pause. After the process is paused, please click run or enter a signal in the run system to resume the process. Right click to occurred. The end robot movement can be controlled by setting the to occurred.